Hi there and welcome to this step along workout. Now this is the Queen's College step test. This is a three minute test, stepping up and down off a bench and then taking your heartbeat for 15 seconds afterwards to estimate your VO2 max. Now if this is entirely new information to you, make sure to check out this video where I explain what it is, how it works and why you might want to do it. Now in this video I'm going to go through this once for men and once for women. So use the chapters below to pick what one you want to do and of course make sure and let me know how you get on in the comments when you've finished. Okay then here we go with the Queen's College step test for men. Now the four men part is because the metronome will be set to 96 beats per minute and the recommended bench height is 16.25 inches. The metronome will play through this video so step with the beat and I am going to tell you when I change my feet which will be every four steps just to make sure that you change your leading leg and one leg doesn't get too tired. So remember this is a three minute test and when you are done the counter is going to run when you can take your heartbeat for 15 seconds. Count how many beats you feel for 15 seconds. But a quick tip here, don't count the first beat. You start the clock, then you count the next beat. Otherwise you'll skew your results. So if you're ready to go for this, let's get started in three, two, one, and go. Now change feet. 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 Check your pulse for 15 seconds. Don't count the first beat.
Okay, so now take the amount of beats that you just counted in those 15 seconds, enter it into the website to calculate your VO2 max estimate. Now how you use that is up to you, but if you want to use the Concept2 VO2 max calculator, that will help you predict your 2K time if that's something that you're interested in. Regardless, please make sure and leave in the comments below what your VO2 max was and whether you think that that is an accurate result or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure and check out the various <laughs> row along workouts and other technique tips for rowing and other fitness tips I have up here. And please do get in touch. Until the next video, please be well real well bye bye okay then so here we go with the Queen's College step test for women the difference here is that the metronome is set to 88 beats per minute and some folks recommend a bench of 14 inches high instead of the 16.25 inches that's recommended for men but that part's entirely up to you now the metronome is going to play through this test and I'm also going to call out every four steps when I change my feet after all you don't want to keep the leading foot the same the whole way through because that one will get tired and that one will won't okay so remember this is a three minute test and when you're done you then take your pulse and count the beats for 15 seconds and a quick tip don't count as you start the stopwatch count the next beat all right so let's get going in three two one go and change foot Change back again. And change. And change. Change foot. Change foot. Change back. Change foot. Change foot. Change foot. Change back. Change foot. Change back. Change foot. Change foot. Change foot. Let's check our pulse for 15 seconds. Don't count the first beat.
Okay, so now take the amount of beats that you just counted in those 15 seconds, enter it into the website to calculate your VO2 max estimate. Now how you use that is up to you, but if you want to use the Concept2 VO2 max calculator, that will help you predict your 2K time if that's something that you're interested in. Regardless, please make sure and leave in the comments below what your VO2 max was and whether you think that that is an accurate result or not. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure and check out the various <laughs> row along workouts and other technique tips for rowing and other fitness tips I have up here. And please do get in touch. Until the next video, please be well, row well, and bye bye.